Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about how if you don't have a car, you can still do reselling. So how you can do reselling if you don't have a car. So I didn't know what video to do. I was racking my brain, I was thinking, what video can I do? Again, like I did the other day with the burnout situation, I just could not think of a video idea. I was walking back from the post office and I was thinking to myself, probably all reselling related videos have been done, whether it's by other UK resellers or whether that's by other US resellers or whether they've even done by me in the past. I just feel like everything seems to have been done. But then I, I looked at a car and for whatever reason, I thought, that's the idea. I'm going to do a very niche specific um, and hopefully helpful to a very small group of people um, video on how you can actually resell even without a car if you can't drive or if you don't have access to a car, something like that. So I thought it was a very, very interesting, very, very niche specific video. So I just wanted to run through a few different points, a few things that might help you, all that sort of stuff. So. Maybe, you know, if you've got a car, if you can drive, if you can, you know, go out there and get stock from car boots, charity shops, auctions, maybe this isn't the video for you, but you might want to just stick around because it might be entertaining anyway. So, um, yeah, basically, if you haven't got a car, how can you do reselling? Well, there's so many different ways to do this game, to do reselling. There's so many different um, ways in, ways to to um, sell stuff, ways to get stock. It's not just like you go to a car boot or you go to a charity shop. I know that that's a lot of the time what we talk about. We say, when we say reselling, we automatically think, oh, car boots or oh, charity shops. But that doesn't have to be the way. So how can you actually make good money doing this um, by not you know not going out the house, not go you know not having a car, all that sort of stuff. So assuming that you might have a few local charity shops near you and you can get to them every now and then and pick up a little bit of stock that way, you know you might be able to get a grounding. You might be able to get something at least. But let's go down the route. Let's explore the route of what's known as eBay sniping. So you can literally stay at home all day and you can make a full-time income doing this and you can use this with uh, things like online arbitrage and obviously getting stock here and there from charity shops when you can go out or when maybe a friend drives you there or whatever so you can use this you know with, alongside other different things that you can do um, to obviously earn a full-time income or you can if you really persist at this and really know what you're doing with this and get um, get a good grounding for eBay sniping, you can just do eBay sniping and earn a full-time living. So basically, what do I mean by eBay sniping? Well, eBay sniping is um, the process of basically sniping items uh, two seconds left on eBay. So eBay auctions will finish and you set up a little pro sniping program, eh? well, what's known as a sniping program, which is basically an automatic bidding uh, software that allows you to bid in the last second or two seconds that you obviously wouldn't be able to do in real time because there's no way you'd be able to sit on all your auctions and, and do that for maybe hundreds of items. You might not even be able to do that for one item because you might mess up the timing. So you set up this automatic bidder, you can type them in Google, you just type in eBay sniping software or um, eBay bidding tools or whatever and they will come up. I believe most of them are paid softwares now um, or online uh, softwares but I think there might be one or two that are still actually free. However, if you are going to be doing eBay sniping full time, it might be worth just investing the few pound a month or few pound a year or whatever it is uh, in one of those actual uh, you know bidding tools or bidding software. So, what you will then do is you'll go through and let's say you are sniping to sell back on eBay. So you're buying on eBay to sell back on eBay. There's a few different ways to do eBay sniping, so that's why I'm. Uh, sort of specifically choosing that one. Obviously, you can snipe on eBay to sell on Amazon. You could snipe on eBay to sell on Etsy, I assume. I mean, I've not tried it myself, but 
I do think that could be an option with certain items, or maybe you snipe on Etsy to sell on eBay or whatever, all these different platforms, you can do it so many different ways. You could probably even snipe on eBay and then move it on locally, you know, Facebook Marketplace or go into car boots yourself, however I think that would be leaving quite a thin margin. But let's just say you are sniping on eBay to resell back on eBay. So what are you actually looking for? How do you actually make money doing this? Well, what you're looking for is mainly misspelled um, listings, poor listings with poor titles and photographs, and just generally listings that aren't being seen by many other people. So they end a lot cheaper than they should do with the correct titling and, and uh, keywords and description and all that sort of stuff and photos. So what you want to do is you want to type in your niche, let's say you're focused on, I don't know, toys or games or something like that. I, I always um, go back to toys and games because that's something that I started with and that's something that kind of I sell a lot of and I like dealing with. So I always use that as an example. But let's say it's toys and games and you want to find these, you know, misspellings. So the sites out there that you can actually use, I forgot the name of the one specific site you can use, but there are sites out there that allow you to type in um, the search bar and uh, like a, a term and then it will come up with um, actually listings that have been misspelled in the title and then you can capitalize on that by obviously bidding on those items and then ending um, quite below what their actual eBay selling price normally is. And then obviously you can get them in, hopefully you, you know unpack them, hopefully everything's okay, and then you just relist them with a better title, better photos, better description, and at the proper price they sell for consistently. So you know you might be able to snipe something for four or five pound, or maybe six pounds, something like that, and you might be able to turn it into 20, 25 pound. Sometimes eBay sniping is slightly lower margins however there's sometimes that you can get a great deal on something I know that I, I do a lot of sniping off eBay for Amazon FBA specifically and I've got some great deals there was the one highlight that stands out for me was a uh, hustle box set it's a uh, it's um I think it's kind of like a real hustle type uh, TV show, but it isn't actually the real hustle, but it's called Hustle the Show. And it was brand new sealed, you know, big massive box set, probably about eight seasons in the box set. And I sold it for 120 on Amazon FBA and I bought it off eBay for £40 and I flipped that within about three weeks. So I was really, really happy with that. So there's loads of different ways to snipe, there's loads of different ways to make money, uh, it just depends on what you want to do. First you have to outline a plan, you have to outline a structure of how you are going to do this from home. Are you going to snipe on eBay to sell back on eBay? Are you going to snipe on eBay to sell on Amazon FBA? Are you going to snipe on eBay and build up a contact list locally and maybe meet these people somewhere? However, if you need to meet them, you may need a car unless you can meet somewhere quite locally that you can maybe walk to. So there's all these different ways really, but there's so many different ways you can actually make money without a car, make money reselling without a car. Another good one comes to mind that isn't anything to do with eBay sniping or eBay to Amazon flipping or anything like that, and that is online arbitrage. So that's the process of going on Google or on various different shopping websites and maybe using coupons or vouchers, um, obviously alongside uh, looking for sales and deals and stuff like that that are already existing and uh, obviously getting the best discount you can off those items and maybe buying quite a large quantity of them. You'll probably be uh, on a thinner margin doing this, however if you do it in the right way and you get enough quantity and you choose the right products that have got a very very fast selling rank on Amazon or on or, or just fast selling on eBay, then you can you can capitalize even with that thinner margin because you're able to turn over a lot more quantity. So it doesn't matter so much that you've got that thinner margin. But that is again another way that you can do this from home. There's also uh, I've not even touched on you know craft doing actual crafts or making things. You could obviously order your product your resources online and then you could get them in, you could make things by hand, you could sell them on Etsy, Etsy is a prime um, place to be selling things like that, or you could sell them on eBay, or you could sell them on both. Um, another thing that isn't you know, so much like eBay or Amazon, but 
uh, well it is actually actually Amazon in the form of Amazon merch but what I mean is it's not particularly reselling as a lot of us know it um, it's quite different quite unique but it's still a fantastic way of earning money and you could do that from home and there are a lot of people making a full-time income doing that so there's so many different ways but the one I kind of wanted to focus on and that I have focused on today is that kind of eBay to Amazon sniping because that is a very that has a lot of potential however um, it does take I do want to stress actually at the end of this video that you know it does take a lot of time doing this you have to be persistent in what you do you might be sniping on, on eBay every day and let's say you know for a, a couple of hours you're uh, you're just not getting anything you're going through all these listings and you just can't see anything cropping up whereas another day you might be going through the listings and loads of things are cropping up and there's a lot of potential so you do need a lot of persistence when you're doing this and I think that you know, going to car boots and charity shops, they are extremely hard as well and you need persistence in that area. But I feel that, you know, this uh, doing sniping in, in one respect requires quite a lot more persistence because you're having to do it for six out, five, six hours. As many times I've been doing it for five or six hours a day, just sat there in front of a computer taking small breaks, obviously. But at the same time, you're just scrolling through and it, you do get a little bit disheartened if you don't find anything. So if you do want to do this, if you do want to do it, you know, eBay sniping, to eBay to Amazon, eBay to eBay, whatever it is, and you don't have a car, you can't go out and do it in the conventional sense that we all know, then you've got to be aware that it's going to be hard and it, you're going to have to persist and keep going with it. So with that being said, a little bit of a ramble there, but I hope I've got some value out in this video. I hope that the, the necessary people see it, and those are obviously people who maybe do not have a car, so hopefully a few people get some good value out of this video, and I will see you in the next one. So I'll see you very soon, guys, and don't forget to leave a like down below, and if you have any qu uh, comments, questions, or queries about what any of the information in this video, then please do leave them down below as well. So see you very soon.